And they played with you. Well, come along. We can all go in my car. <laughs> It's sweet of you to help me, Bill. Well, I'll try anything except domestic science. Why, Bill, don't you want to learn something about running your own home? The answer is no. <laughs> You know, after that session we had yesterday, I went home and told Mother that the trouble with her pot roast gravy was she hadn't added three heaping teaspoonfuls of olive oil. <laughs> what did she say? She didn't say anything. She just threw me out of the kitchen. <laughs> well, I don't wonder. Hello, children. Hello, Mother. Hello, Mrs. Lane. That was sweet of you, Mother. Gosh, hot chocolate. Thanks, Mrs. Lane. I know you can't study on empty stomachs. Now then, enjoy yourself. He will. She will too, Mrs. Lane. May I? Oh, thank you, kind sir. You're so very, very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, before we do that math, how about reading some of this? It's swell. Romeo and Juliet. Don't you like it? Uh-huh. You know, when I study this, I, I kind of think of you. It, I just sort of feel as though you're there beside me. Well, listen. It is my soul that calls upon thy name. How silver sweet sound lovers' tongues by night. Like softest music to attending ears. Romeo. My dear. What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By the hour of nine. I will not fail. Just twenty years till then. Uh, well, uh, I'll see you tonight, Mary. Bye, Mrs. Lang. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. Bye. Oh, on. Gotcha. Oh! Oh, 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 I guess I'm all right. Well, bye. Bye. Hey, Jay! Oh, dude. Hey. Hey, Dad, you got anything for me? Well, we Don't bother your father oh, every see, night. Yeah. Uh, have you? There you are. What made you so late, Bill? I was getting worried. Oh, I had to study, Ma. He was not. I saw him out walking with his girl. Bill's got a girl. Got a girl. Ma, make him cut it out. Junior. Well, Bill has got a girl. Quiet. And put that candy away till after dinner. Henry, you shouldn't have given it to him. Well, he has got a girlfriend and her name is Mary. Now, yeah, I'll shut you up. <laughs> Bill, Junior, put that towel in off. Oh, I mean one thought and one root beer. 
Cosme. Oh, she's fine. We're going up to her apartment a later. Couldn't Bill come along? Mm-hmm. Well, don't oh, come on along. Bill, you'll get a kick out of it. Thanks, just the same. Oh, come on, Bill. Yeah, he won't be jealous. Why, sure. A lot of the kids will be there. It's teen. Well, I don't know. I really shouldn't. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Give me a cigarette before you go, will you? Listen, you 
never heard no beef when I had to sell that rotten gin. You're after the dough, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't need dough that bad. Taking two-bit pieces from kid. There are millions of two-bit pieces just begging to be taken. Don't be a dope. I'm just dope enough to draw the line selling up to kids. All right, Pete. You know what my policy has always been. The boys are not satisfied. I'm always glad to have them retire. Retire permanently. So long. I only wish you had a couple of kids so I could... Get out! All right, Jack, pick up your stuff from Danny. I'll be ready by now. Okay, well. Let's go, Jack. I'm red hot. Better be careful how you drive it. The first thing you know, you'll be ice cold. There's no doubt that there is an organized gang distributing the narcotic to students, not only in my school, but all over the city. You government men have got to find some way to put an end to it. Of course, I agree with you, Dr. Carroll. But do you realize that marijuana is not like other forms of dope? You see, it grows wild in almost every state in the Union. Therefore, there is practically no interstate commerce in the drug. As a result, the government's hands are tied. And frankly, the only sure cure is a widespread campaign in education. Oh, it's all right to talk about education, Mr. Wyatt. But we educators can't do anything until the public is sufficiently aroused. Let me show you something. In 1930, the records on marijuana in the Washington office of the Narcotics Division scarcely filled a small folder like this. Today, they fill cabinets. devoted to marijuana records. Here is an example. A 16-year-old lad apprehended in the act of staging a holdup. 16 years old and a marijuana addict. Here is a most tragic case. Yes, I remember. Just a young boy. Under the influence of the drug, he killed his entire family with an axe. Then there is the most vicious type of case. Here, in Michigan, a young girl, 17 years old, a reefer smoker, taken in a raid in the company with five young men. Here is a particularly flagrant case. 
Yes, I remember the newspapers made quite a play of it.